Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today. Ako po si G. Tonji. We're having a very interesting and informative discussion with Congressman Cole Monares na nandito mula sa Pilipinas. I have to admit though, and I told you, Congressman, hindi talaga ako uh, very literate sa politics. So my questions are just like the viewers na talagang gustong malaman kung ano ba talagang nangyayari. Diba? Kasi wala akong knowledge masyado dyan. You know, you know a lot of pork barrel that describes the politics in the Philippines actually. Yeah, well, I have my own pork barrel story, but that's for another day. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, so what are the views of, uh, uh, on the continuing incursions of China in the West Philippine Sea? Because as we know, hanggang ngayon ay pinaglalaban pa rin ng China na sa kanila nga yung uh, islang yon na nasa Philippine Sea. Well, the, the China is actually claiming the West Philippine Sea, which, is called, which, it, which it calls the South China Sea, through mm -hmm. its nine dash line. Mm -hmm. And we're saying, of course not. It's our territory. It, you don't. The Nine Dash Line is a legal concoction of China. There is no legal or historical basis for that. But we have all the evidence. That's why we went to the tribunal. Mm -hmm. And China didn't go to the tribunal, so I presume it doesn't have evidence. What is the implication of China's claim? Two major things. One, sovereignty. If we allow China to run roughshod over our rights in our own territory, mm -hmm. in the West Philippine Sea, then what stops them from, you know, incurring coming in? Coming yes. In, so I guess that's one, sovereignty. The second is economics. In the West Philippine Sea, direct to bank, for example, five uh, billion uh, uh, barrels of oil and 55.4 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. So if this were topped by us, that would be a lot of help in our economy. Of course. But if it goes to China, then goodbye uh, development, goodbye, you know, 55 But the question trillion. is, do we have the resources to make use of these um, ah, yes, resources? Yes. Definitely. We, we can tap these resources and we can, you know, okay. just like the Malampaya uh, right. drill, uh, natural gas. So our point to China is, no, you cannot do that, and we have to defend our territory. Now, if we defend our territory, what we're saying is we stand pat. If we need help, we go to the international community. The international community, if we convince them that our claim is right, and that will happen if we win in the tribunal, then the international community will be themselves the one who would say to China, look, you're, okay. yes. you, you should get out of there. The tribunal said uh, you're wrong, Philippines claim is right. So you get out of there. That's right. With, in exchange for nothing, we're, we're 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 saying if we go, if we have a friend, a friend should support us and not demand for something in return. I see. That's why we have this pinas, which says an independent foreign policy, meaning to say it shouldn't be pro-China, it shouldn't be pro-U.S., shouldn't be pro-Japan, it should be pro-Filipino. The moment a friend says that oh, I'd like to help you, but would you like to sign EDGA first, sign VFA first? That's not a real friend. Right. And that's why we're saying to Japan and the U.S., if you really want to help, you go help the Philippines without demanding something in return. For that but, reason, we're, but, saying, we're saying that we go to the international community. But, Congressman, the way politics works, obviously there has to be something in return. Is that not correct? No, I don't think so, because the, the interest of the international community there, including the U.S. and Japan, is this. Under international law, no country shall be allowed occupation or ownership of an entire sea. Mm. That's under international law. Right. Imagine, the Nine Dash Line controls virtually the entire South China Sea. Mm -hmm. And if the South China Sea is controlled by China, the countries in Africa, the countries in the U.S., will have difficulty in freedom of navigation. That's right. So it's the concern of everyone that China is defeated uh -huh. in its attempt to, you know, to own the entire sea. Okay. So that's not asking for it. The return there is actually freedom of navigation for all. Okay. All right. So do you think the efforts of Pilipinong nagkakaisa para sa sub Sobera Soberania, Soberania. Yeah. Uh, Pinas, which yeah. you mentioned, would succeed in stopping China? Yes, I guess because the, we, we believe that the government, the Aquino government's action in filing the case in the tribunal is correct. Okay. However, going to, you know, one country to, you know, for EDGA and VFA is wrong. The other thing that Pinas would therefore assert is the independent foreign policy. Mm -hmm. We we have to have a, you know matapang naman tayo na bansa eh. We can survive on our own. 
we have to deal, be friends with them, with you know, whoever, European countries, US, Japan, mm -hmm. but we did not kowtow to their demands. Mm -hmm. the, yun lang naman ang ina-assert ng Pinas. And secondly, we can gather support from the peoples of other countries, mm -hmm. not just the government, the, the peoples too. If you're able to convince, in fact, the people of China that, you know, your, your uh, incursions into the West Philippine Sea will be bad for you in the end because you'll be a paria under mm -hmm. in, in the international community. That's right. That would also be bad Masama for business. Masama image. Masama yes. ang image ng yes. China kung sa ganun, di ba? Yes. And as it is at the moment, uh, they are seen as bullies. Yes, they're bullies. What we're saying, what Pinas is saying, we should not replace one bully with another bully. Otherwise, goodbye 5 billion barrels of oil. <laughs> Goodbye, 55 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. That's right. Okay, so when we return, magbabalik po kami. Kausa pa rin natin si Congressman Colmenares.